currently on Howard Road, making our way to Zika Spur Track. From there, we will go on to the Wanangatta Track and head to camp. So here we are at the start of Zika Spur Track. Zika Spur track wasn't that difficult, although as you progress further along it does get more interesting and presents some good fun low range driving. We were heading down so it was just a matter of navigating through different sections and wasn't too bad and it was quite dry. However coming up would probably present a lot more challenges especially if it was wet. So as you can see the truck's in pretty good condition. Um, unfortunately I wasn't recording when things got really interesting um, due to concentrating but for the most of the track it's pretty easy going. I said, don't leave the air condition away from your car. Yes, mate, that's why I've been driving around for the last two days, trying to keep cool. I don't know if I'm going to run a bit of a fuel load. I think it's fuel. Yeah, fuel's overrated. I'm worried about that. So as I said before, I uh, turned my camera off pretty soon um, as the track was pretty straightforward and when it got interesting, I, uh, as I said before, didn't hit record. So here we are in Wanangatta Valley, um, as you can see conditions were extremely dry, um, even the previous week as most of you probably already know there were 
a lot of bushfires, some from campfires, some from lightning strikes. Um, but yeah, while we were staying there, we didn't have any trouble. We all had the uh, big emergency app and we were tuned into the ABC radio to keep on top of updates. Um, but I still, as always, you should take caution. Um, yeah, the place was like a, just a dust bowl, very dry. So here we are at base camp after a night of heavy rain and some cracking lightning. Very dry indeed. There's not much water here at all. Far so good. Last night got got a bunch of rain and lightning, thunder. Was a little worried. Um, was hope, hoping there wouldn't be any lightning strikes that cause any fires. Um, but. Uh, just got heaps of rain, which was refreshing. There's a couple of things though, and I know this is an issue with so many other campers, four wheel drivers. The rubbish. Seriously. I should go up there and film how much the rubbish. There's bottles and toilet paper and crap because people can't bury their waste it's easy just really really bugs me to the cemetery. Alright, let's go have a look. Final resting place. And here is what's left of the Wanangatta Station homestead. 
the stones outlay the original floor plan. Um, this station was one of the most isolated homesteads in Victoria while it was in operation. Tragic story to such a beautiful place. But wow, yeah. I couldn't even imagine trying to get out here by horses and cart and walking. Um, couldn't even begin to imagine how hard that life would be. But, you just come out here and you look at this valley and you just think, it's absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. Um, wish I came out here last night when there was a cracking storm, would have made for some unreal photography out here. Sort of half thinking of coming down here later on see if I can get a see if there's a bit of a sunset happening so I can get a few uh, a few photographs so I'm only about 10 15 minutes away camping all right so that's the end of part one and part two will be uploaded as soon as I can because I can't wait but part two will have the drive up Wombat Range Track, then back down into Wan and Gatta Valley, then we went up Billy Goat's Bluff, and then went up to Mount Kent, had lunch up there on the way home. Should be a good one, and yeah, that's all for now. Cheers. <laughs>